hey guys welcome back so guys in this video I'm going to do the fourth part that is PHP crud for the deleting part okay so in past previous three parts of videos we have done how to add the data with the pop-up model and how to fetch this data and how to edit this data by its ID okay so it is coming retrieving okay and then update this data okay so by the its ID okay so update and it's got updated okay so now let's again update this some j2 with update it and it's got updated with okay from j2 update so now we will do with the deleting part that is to uh, one pop-up model will come that you should accept yes or no so if you click yes it will delete the data as simple so guys without any wasting time we'll let's get started so here guys so this is my table content where I have designed it so if you are not understanding please watch out the full playlist of this just a four parts that is a uh, link is given in the description so guys let's create one more table row table data okay so that will be the button for delete okay so that is will create one button called delete okay so I'm going to remove this and tell us delete okay so delete button and uh, we'll change this class as danger and uh, here you have to add the table head that is the name will be delete okay T delete let's save it and view the output reload the page so you are getting a delete button okay so delete 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 when you click on delete this data should get deleted right so with the pop-up model if you click delete the pop-up model should come and then delete the data simple so let's get started with it so guys first thing as simple in previous video I have thought that how to if you click this edit button a model should pop up by the help of JavaScript right so we have used this to come to make the pop-up for the JavaScript right so now in this also we'll do something similar like that so guys I'm going to code okay so let's copy this once again control C and paste it once more and let's remove some contents okay so we don't need this thing and we need all this from we will edit this some contents from here so this is edit button so instead of giving edit button we have name it as delete button okay so let's rename that delete oops we'll give in small letter delete button so this button will be copied and pasted over here okay so we are using in a class remember that okay so this button is in the dot right so this dot is there right so that is class and when you click that button the model should get popped up okay so which model not edit model we will pop up a delete model delete model dot show okay so when you want with work with JavaScript that time you have to use this script channel okay so if you are not understanding please watch it from the starting part one okay so let's comment this for a while so we are not going to work with this so first we will execute this much okay simple so let's create one model with this ID okay so remember this ID so guys we have already created model right so this was our edit model okay so let's copy this model and paste it below it okay so this is a model simple model okay so this is not edit we'll mention it as delete pop-up model that is bootstrap model and we don't need um, we need a form okay so we don't require this forms that is the contents 
so I'm going to remove I have just kept put one kept one tag and I will tell h4 do you want to delete this data question yes or no okay so no or yes yes delete it okay so this is a simple form simple body and one simple message okay so form action not will be this we have to give delete code dot php okay so guys um main thing which we are going to fetch is that let's go to the javascript uh not this okay this is the form so this copy this and get back to our model so this is the delete pop up model change the paste okay so paste it paste save it and let's first view the output okay so i am going to change this to delete delete student data oops what is this the heck man delete student data okay so that is delete and let's reload the page reload dude okay so if i click the model the model should get popped up okay so the model is getting popped up do you want to delete this data yes or no okay so no not now because we did not give if i click yes it will nothing it will not delete anything okay so it will tell that this code is going okay because of that um co page is not available okay so when you delete they if you click yes delete that time the data should get deleted right so for that let's get uh, let's start coding with that <sighs> so guys um this is the button type submit and this is a button and where i am going to give the button name as delete data okay so let's give delete data when you click on this delete data that time this data will go to this form action that is delete code dot php so let's create one file into your root direct root folder or directory so let's delete de delete code dot php so now if i click this button that time it will go to delete code dot php with the post that is with the id sum not update id we have to type it as delete id okay so let's type this delete id okay so this delete id will be coming from your table okay so that is table is over here okay so this id will be coming from this delete when you click this delete the id will be fetching from here and it will go to the javascript okay so that javascript is over here so let's paste it over here and let's do the coding for this All right okay so yes okay so this is a simple code to fetch and this is a zero so guys this id should match with your form okay so this will go to the form that is delete model so let's go to the delete model yep so this is my delete model where i'm going to this id so now let's go to the main part coding that is where we are to code okay so if i click on this delete yes delete button that time it will go to this form delete code dot php with this id okay so let's go to there and now here you have to code it okay so guys i have already coded that codes which is required over here um there is no time to type it so i'm going to just paste that code which i have done it already paste it so guys these are normal database connection thing and when i click on this delete button if the button is clicked so i'll show you this is my button name right so this button name will come to this over here okay so delete and with the id that is delete id delete okay so this is from the form 
so this is the name right so this name will come not id not id this name will come to this form this id for the javascript okay so this name will come to this field and from there we we'll delete from this table name okay so this is my table name that is into the database i will show you so this is my database okay student where this id okay so let's get back to the code so done and if the query is correct it will delete the data and get to the header location back to the index page okay or else it will tell data not deleted okay so save and uh, let's run the program and let's check whether we are getting a correct result or an error okay so guys i am going to delete this data id 4 and reload the page so let's delete and do you want to delete this data yes delete it so i'm going to click yes and boom so you, the id 4 is deleted so how much ever if i reload or you can check into my database so i'm going to reload that i have not reloaded it so see id 3 is there okay 3 4 is not there so i'm going to delete the id 3 so let's delete yes delete it by the bootstrap model okay so let's reload and see the id3 is not there okay so guys in this video you have learned how to delete the data by its the id into the bootstrap pop-up model okay so guys thank you for watching this video and please subscribe like and share so before that i will show you the complete structure how it is going so i'm going to add with prakash bba and some phone number let's save this so data got added that is id 5 i am going to edit this id from wait to sharon kumar from um b com okay and let's update data got updated okay editing and done okay so now let's delete this sharon so let's delete and yes delete it okay so guys the crowd is completed now and please subscribe like and share once again thank you